Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name's Cassie. I do video game related pickups, unboxings, reviews, all sorts of video game related stuff. So if you like that, uh, be sure to like and subscribe this video. Uh, this video is going to be um, all the pickups that I've accumulated over the past few months. I know it's kind of a lot, it seems, um, but I just don't do pickups as much as I used to. So unfortunately, they're not going to be as frequent and probably will only be once every couple months or so. Um, but I do have a lot to show. So um, I have been playing God of War Ragnarok. Uh, I've probably put about 10 hours in or so, so far, and I'm really enjoying it a lot. Um, I've also been playing Pokemon Arceus, but I think I'm going to set that down for a little bit because I have put 45 hours into it and sometimes, occasionally, I get kind of bored and I feel like I'm getting on a burnout with it. Um, it's a good game, don't get me wrong, it's just not holding my attention like some of the other Pokemon games have. Um, so I'm setting it aside for now so I don't get seriously burnt out on it. Uh, I did finish Road 96 last night, um, so expect a review in the upcoming videos for that. Um, I've also been um, playing Vampire Survivors a little bit too, and I'm going to be starting Persona 3, which came out on Thursday on Game Pass. Uh, I played it right out of high school, um, right around the time when it came out, um, whenever. Um, but I probably put maybe 15 or 20 hours into it, and I never did finish it. I've played completely through five and four, and I love them both. Five is my favorite. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, so I'm excited to finally play through three completely, and we'll see how it holds up. Um, I did play FES on PS2 originally, and I know this is the PSP version of that, so hopefully it's good, but um, we'll see. Um, and... I may pick up another game, like a short game or something, some indie game, um, just to kind of balance the long games that I'm playing. Um, we did vote for Game Club. Uh, Kentucky Route Zero is actually the winner for um, Game Club uh, February, Game of the Month. Um, game Club is a group I'm in on Facebook. I help moderate um, and we play a game together every month and we have like a voting thread and stuff. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, right now we're playing Uncharted 4 and for the long game, for the three month long uh, game, we are playing uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, so be sure, sure to check that out. Uh, I do have the link in the description below if you're interested in that group. Um, be sure to join. And then on the 10th every month we start voting for uh, the next month's game of the month. Um, so play Kentucky Route Zero with us or start Uncharted 4. Um, whatever you want to do. Um, so on to the video game pickups um, I'm sure you've been waiting for. Uh, I did go to GameStop. I had uh, gift cards to use, and they had a 4 for 20 and a 4 for 40 deal going on. Um, I think I did a really good job with the pickups. I got eight games for just under $60, which is pretty good, um, especially since these titles are pretty decent. Um, the 4 for 40 deal, uh, these are the games that I got. This game I've been wanting to get for a while. I originally played it on Game Pass and it left Game Pass, so I've been kind of eyeing the price on it. Um, so this was a great deal, basically paid $10 for it, and that's Hades. I know it's a PS4 version, but most of these upgrade on PS5 anyway, so there's no reason for me to really get the PS5 version to be honest. Um, this is a roguelike game. I uh, like Vampire Survivors. Um, I really like roguelike games. Those two are the only ones I've played, but from what I've played, I, those are pretty great. So I definitely would recommend this. And Hades 2 got announced at the Game Awards, so I'm excited for that. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. 
Uh, this is a game that actually both of these have been um, played through Game Club, but I never did actually play them. I played a little bit of Vanquish, um, and Vanquish is kind of, it's got like a time-lapse uh, running gun type combat, which is pretty cool. You can slow down time um, and as you kind of like slide around um, it's, and uh, shoot. <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty fun. Um, Bayonetta, I've heard so many great things about it, but I've never played any of them. So hopefully I'll start playing these soon. Um, and this is a great bundle pack, especially for about $10. So I'm happy to get that. Uh, this is a game that I played um, right when lockdown happened, uh, Diablo 3. Uh, this is the Eternal Collection. Um, it's really great game. Uh, super addictive. Um, I played a lot of WoW. I like anything that has a lot of loot and upgrades and gear. <laughs> that's, that's my thing. Um, so definitely check this out if you haven't already. And I'm excited for 4 to come out hopefully this year. Um, these are also great too for the bundle that I got. Uh, this is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 Remix. Um, I do believe this one has the original 2 on there as a remaster, which I do need to play through. I never did get into Kingdom Hearts. Uh, my sister did. Um, but I do really like Final Fantasy and I love Disney characters, so I'm hoping that I will finally pick this up and play through it and actually enjoy both of them. Um, but we'll see. So that was the 4 for 40. Um, this is the 4 for 20 deal. Uh, I got World of Final Fantasy. I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. I never did play this one and I know they're kind of like chibi characters or whatever. Um, I don't know what the gameplay is like, but I had to pick it up since it was Final Fantasy, and hopefully it's good. Uh, this is Kingdoms of Amular, 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 uh, Re-Reckoning. Um, this is by R.A. Salvatore, um, who writes a lot of fantasy novels and is well known for his books. So, um, I decided to pick it up. I did originally have this on 360 when I had a 360. I had to sell off my video game collection, so most of it anyway. Um, so hopefully at some point I'll start recollecting everything, but I had to have surgery and so medical bills are expensive. So that's what happened. Um, but I did play a little bit of this, uh, when I originally had it, um, just to try and kind of test out my disc and make sure that it worked. And it seemed to be a really good game, so I'm excited to give that a try at some point. And, you know, it takes me a long time to play the games that I'm playing right now, so we'll see if I ever get around to any of these. Um, I also picked up Ziggurat. Ziggurat. Um, I've never really heard of this game, but I saw the cover and I looked at the back and it's kind of like a dungeon crawler and it had decent reviews. Uh, so I went ahead and got it. Let me know if you've played this game, if you like it. Um, I think it's supposed to be short, so I should just download it and start playing it. Um, and then this was the last of the 4 for 20 deal. I got Neo, which is kind of like a FromSoft game, but it's uh, Team Ninja. Um, so, but supposed to be just difficult like the Dark Souls you know, Elden Ring, all those. Um, but it seems to be like a cool game, so, and I don't mind the difficulty on those, so. Um, excited to give that one a try, finally. That was it for those GameStop. Now, most of these are going to be game uh, gift cards or um, from, like, Best Buy, Amazon, or uh, birthday, Christmas gifts. Um, this one was one that I got with one of my gift cards through Best Buy or Amazon. I don't know which one. Uh, but Tales of Arise, I only played uh, Symphonia on GameCube, really. I played a little bit of Vesperia, but I never really got in too far. 
They are really beautiful games from what I've played, um, and I heard really good things about this. I do like JRPGs, um, especially if they have a really good story and good combat. Um, so, and a good environment too. The environment makes a difference as well. Like, you know, what you can do in the world and uh, if there's like a lot of crafting or, you know, different things. Um, and then I got Alan Wake also. Um, I've heard really good things about this. This is kind of like a narrative survival horror game. Um, and I played a little bit on 360, but not very much. But... Um, I think they're supposed to make a two, or they were supposed to make a sequel at some point, um, but I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm excited to add this to the collection, and hopefully I'll play through it soon. And this is what I've been playing right now, uh, God of War Ragnarok. I bought it at launch because I had it pre-ordered, and I really liked, um, I really liked the first God of War, so the first, like, the 2018 version. And, um, I, I've only put like 10 hours into it so far, but I really like the way it's going. Uh, it's a great, great story. Um, the cinematics are great. The combat is great and sometimes difficult at times also, but, um, I'm excited to play through this fully, finally. Um, and then I got uh, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This I got for my birthday back in October. Um, I really like the Lego games. Jurassic World and Harry Potter are my favorites. Uh, I didn't play too much of the Star Wars ones originally. I did play through The Force Awakens completely. Um, but they never did the other two games. So this is a combination of the prequels, the trilogy, and then the new trilogy all in one. And they've kind of changed the combat from what I understand and uh, just the gameplay a little bit. Um, but we'll see how it is and hopefully it holds up to the others. Um, and then this I saw, this was Black Friday on uh, Best Buy and I got it with a gift card. Tales of Iron. This is, it looks like kind of a, an action RPG. It's supposed to be fairly difficult, uh, but it has graphics kind of like Child of Light. Um, and you play as a mouse warrior, which kind of reminds me of Redwall, which is one of my favorite series from when I was younger, even though they're kind of gory books. <laughs> And I think they're in the adult section now, but it depends on where you go. Sometimes they're in children, sometimes they're in adult, but um, they're great books. So if you read, I definitely recommend checking them out. Um, but hopefully this is a good game. Uh, it looks to be pretty interesting, so I'll give it a try at some point. Um, I also got Sackboy with the gift card as well. Um, I really like the games like Unravel and Little Big Planet, um, kind of like those type of platformer games. Um, they're really fun uh, and kind of lighthearted, and they're not very long either, so it's a good like kind of a game to pick up in between, you know, the more difficult games or the lengthy games. Also, I had to get with a gift card. I had to get Grand Theft Auto Five. I had this originally on 360 and PS3, um, but then I sold those, so um, I've been needing to get this so I can play it on modern consoles. I never did finish this campaign for some reason. I got pretty far in this one, um, but 4 is my favorite, and I wish they would make a remaster for, uh, hopefully, at some point. Come on, Rockstar. <laughs> But uh, 5 was great. Um, it was different because you switch between the three characters and Trevor is ridiculous. Uh, half the time you, uh, you switch back to him and he's in a dumpster somewhere. Um, but it's a really fun game. I didn't play the online. I'm not really into online games too much uh, except for World of Warcraft. And I used to play Modern Warfare 2 online. But besides that, I don't really. And then Civ 4 used to play um, at other people's houses. We used to have LAN parties. Those were good times. Um, yeah, so I had to get that. Uh, also got Resident Evil 3 Remake. 
Um, I know that this one didn't get as good of reviews as the second one, but um, I never did play through uh, the original first three or whatever. Um, I started with four, so, and I skipped over five and six and played seven, so, and I still haven't played uh, the most recent one. Um, so, hopefully, Village. Uh, hopefully, um, this is a good game and I'll enjoy it. I don't play a lot of survival horror, so I'm trying to get more into it. I do really like horror movies, but the games are just <laughs> a little bit scarier because you're playing as a character. It's kind of, I don't know, like scary movies don't scare me, but scary video games do. I'm sure that makes sense, but um, also for, I think I actually... Yeah, I, I bought this because uh, Spyro 2 was our game club game of the month for December. So I bought this in November and then decided to play through the first one entirely for the first time. And then I played through the second one back to back, which is kind of a mistake because I really liked the first one. But at, when I started playing the second one, I was kind of over it and wanted to move on to something else. That's why I don't read the same genre back to back. I don't play the same game back to back. Um, I usually like to take breaks or play multiple things at a time so I don't get burnout. Um, I don't know why that happens to me. I don't know if it happens to you, but it definitely does. Um, but the second one I didn't like nearly as much. I haven't played the th through the third one yet, um, and I didn't go back to get the platinum on the second one, but I will at some point, probably, so. Um, the remaster is great. Um, it does smooth out the characters a lot, uh, makes it a lot easier on the eyes, and the controls are better too. So I definitely would, if you're a Spyro fan, definitely uh, worth checking out. So, And then um, I think I got this for Christmas actually, surprisingly. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy. Um, I. <laughs> Besides Vice City, I wasn't really into 3 or San Andreas all that much, but I did play them quite a bit as a kid, or a teen, uh, so my, my parents would not let me play this as a kid, um, but I, I sneak some things. Anyway, um, I'm excited to go back over these and play these. Um, I've heard kind of mixed reviews, you know, because it was more of a port than it was any kind of remaster or anything, so from what I understand anyway, but excited to play through those again and I hope they release four because I want to play through four again. I also got this for my birthday. I got the Mass, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Uh, this has got all the th original three in one, um, which I never did fully play through any of them. Um, I played quite a bit of the first one, but I never played two or three because I like to go in order, especially if it's story driven. Um, I don't want to miss out on anything. So I like to start from the beginning on most games. Um, so hopefully that's kind of all my backlog. I really need to play through the Mass Effect games fully. Um, Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. My game act, or my my game. My my friend actually let me borrow his copy, and I did play quite a bit of this, and then I got this for Christmas. Um, but I never did finish it, so now I've got my own copy, and I can go ahead and play through it. Uh, this was also a game I got for Christmas, Dying Light 2. I loved the first Dying Light. Uh, Dying Light and Dead Island are just great zombie games. Uh, personally, I think they're some of the best, besides Last of Us, which... Is kind of zombies, but kind of not, you know, but, um, yeah, uh, I hope this game is actually really good. I've heard mixed reviews on it. Um, this was supposed to be really interesting because of all the factions and choices and all the outcomes, uh, with it also being an open world action survival horror game. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to play through that. At some point, but hopefully it's really good. This has been on my radar for a while. I heard somebody talk about it like years ago on um, 
on a YouTube channel or something. And it looks really interesting. Um, so I've never played it, but let me know if you guys like Disco Elysium. Um, I'm glad to have this so I can finally give it a try. And then Switch games, and this will be the last of my pickups. I'm sorry it's so long. I got this for my birthday from a friend, uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which is one of the better games on the Wii U that I played. Um, it's really colorful, the platforming's great, music's great. I personally like Donkey Kong Country more than I like Mario. Um, much bigger Donkey Kong fan all around, to be honest. Not that Mario is not good, it's just I'm not as interested in it. I don't know if it's just because, you know, everybody thinks Nintendo, everybody Im immediately goes to Mario and Zelda, which, you know, I love Zelda, but um, Donkey Kong's my favorite platformer. And then uh, Pokemon Arceus, I got this for my birthday, and I've been playing through it since November, kind of off and on, so I've got four more regions to go. Four more? No, I've got three more regions to go, and I'm 45 hours in. It just takes me a long time because I level all my Pokemon equally, and yeah, it's kind of partially my fault, the reason why it takes so long, uh, but there's also a lot of side quests and stuff to do, and I'm just kind of getting bored, so i got to play something else for a little bit. Um, and then I got Pikmin 3. Um, I'm not sure if I got this for my birthday or I think it was Christmas. Um, but I really loved the first Pikmin game on GameCube. It's really kind of difficult and I like strategy type games. Um, so I'm excited to give this a try. And then finally, I got Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Um, this one just released last year. And I really like Kirby games as well as Donkey Kong. Um, I really like the Dreamland games, and then also uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shard on 64 was also a great game. So I'm excited to play through this. And Sonic Frontiers. Uh, I didn't get, but um, I've been thinking about it. Um, there were also some games that I got like on the sale on the PlayStation Network as well. Um, I don't really remember. I got Trials of... Trails? Trails. Yeah, Trails of Cold Steel, the first one. Uh, Harvest Moon, Save the Homeland. Uh, I really love the original Harvest Moon game, so... Um, and Star Ocean, Till the End of Time, because I did have that on PS2 originally, and I played the first, like, ten minutes of it, and it really intrigued me so that's really that's all I got um I know it's a lot and I'm sorry uh but it's finally over <laughs> uh so what's next um Xbox Bethesda is having a conference on Wednesday so if it's anything worth talking about then I will talk about that probably in the next video if not then I will probably be doing a video game review um, the Xbox Bethesda Showcase, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to show, if they're going to show anything new. I know they said that they're supposed to, so we'll see what they've got. Uh, it would be nice to see more Fable. Uh, I do want to see more of Starfield, um, which we're getting close to the release on that. Um, the next Elder Scrolls. It'd be great if we can get a new Fallout, but I know that's going to be a while, so probably. Um, I'm I'm a much bigger Fallout fan than I am an Elder Scrolls fan, even though I do really like Skyrim a lot. Uh, it's just Fallout does something else to me, I, I don't know. It's just the music and atmosphere and guns, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, it'd be nice if they finally did a Banjo 3 but, you know, that's never going to happen. Uh, and 
that's really, I, I can't really think of anything else. I'm sure they'll have like some Game Pass exclusives and stuff that get announced. Um, do you guys have any, any guesses on what they're going to show in their showcase? Anything that you hope for? Um, and yeah, that's, that's it for today. So thank you for watching my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you watched it to the end. I appreciate it. Sorry it's so long. Um, until the next video, I will see you guys later.